when to drink kombucha. There are so many different, um, different variations, different beliefs, different strategies, opinions. That was the word I was looking for originally on when to drink kombucha tea. And it really comes down to, well, first I'll tell you what many of the opinions are. Okay, so if you're looking to lose weight with kombucha, it's to drink about four ounces before your meal, about 10, 15 minutes before your meal. The theory of that is that it will help your digestive system. And in my opinion, my theory is that it will satiate, meaning that there are certain foods, you know, according to Ayurveda and other um, modalities, is that we have different taste buds, right? So things that are sour, and astringent tend to curb our appetite. Okay, very similar. It was something called like a like a apple cider vinegar diet. I think back in the day. Um, also, I think it was a grapefruit diet back in the day, and that was more also like consuming a grapefruit. You know, it's a lot of liquid right in our body, um, but it was also the acidity, right? And acidity also things like citrus and kombucha, um, even though it's acidic externally, will actually help alkalinize the body once ingested. So the theory is if you're using it to lose weight, drink it before. Um, if you are looking to maintain um, or just general well-being or help digest your food, to drink it after your meal or sip it um, a little bit during your meal. For energy, drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Also, and this I do agree, this is my own personal opinion, if you are incorporating kombucha in with a candida type diet, looking to eliminate your candida, um, if you choose to consume kombucha, the best way is overly fermented and in the morning, empty stomach so that your body um, can focus on consuming the kombucha tea rather than your body's working and digesting all this other food and then the sugar, the small amount of sugar found in kombucha is then gets, you know, the candida feeds off of it versus your body getting the nourishment. And then there's also a belief of drinking it at night to help fall asleep. So what I say is what works for you. All right, now the only way you're gonna discover that is by experimenting and really listening to your body. A lot of people think that that's just a, a cop-out. When people say, oh, how much kombucha should I drink? Um, my kombucha, should I drink kombucha with meals, without meals? And it's just saying, well, listen to your body. It's like, well, really? Like, how am I supposed to listen to my body? You know, unfortunately, and I'm just as guilty as this, we're so disconnected with our body. We're watching so much television or driving around. I see billboards everywhere that it's hard to really focus in on our body. One of the things I absolutely love about kombucha is it forces you to listen to your body. So, as an experiment, just an example would be, for one week, only consume kombucha in the morning on an empty stomach. Make a kombucha journal, write it down, see how you feel. I know I did this because I'm a nut. You know, I've been doing this for a really long time. I'm a, I'm, I'm a nut, I have hundreds of videos on kombucha, right? Uh, believe me, I do other things in my life, but it doesn't appear to so on the internet. Another thing, next week, only drink kombucha before meal, write down, see how you feel, what comes up. How do you feel before drinking it? How do you feel after drinking it? Third week, only drink kombucha after your meal. Fourth week, only drink kombucha during a meal. Fifth week, only drink kombucha when you go to sleep. And that will help out on when to drink kombucha. To get even more free kombucha videos to take your kombucha brewing to the next level, check out getkombucha.com backslash free.